And we're back with another episode of Let's Play Yakuza 0. I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and it's time for us to save the world one street at a time. So really quick, when we last left off, I wanted to get two credits here towards stuff. Uh, two CP. And I'm going to end up getting three in a moment. Ooh, let me help with this, though. Because we're still trying to get to that coveted 30,000, 30 million, so we can buy that fishing pole. And he's down. Ooh, Swiss watch. Something else we could sell. That ramen shot. I'm trying to walk the. Oh, he has four things. Oh well, we're already here. Dying ten times, so that worked out anyway. And then take a cab. The nearest cab looks like it's south of us. We'll actually go to the, um, strangely enough, let's go to the, uh, wharf. Or the pier. So we've been finding girl cards. We might find some there. I believe there's one or two. that yeah, eventually show up. There's our next CP. Sweet. Ah. Uh, type C card. Let's actually see if that my theory is correct here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can com only find completed cards that way. Not going to do any training yet. We haven't leveled up our abilities, so there's no point. Okay, let's go to... Let's go Pink Street here. And let's handle this. Oh, control is disconnected. There we go. And there he goes. Let 
Mm. Weak sauce. Consume it. Fuck it. Get that out of the inventory. Alright. Money Magnet 2. Quick change clothes. Money Magnet 3. That we want to get at some point. Got a lot to work on, though. But now, enemies should drop more cash. So, already on the right track. Yep. Where's the producer? If he doesn't show up for the location shoot today, we're screwed. Oh, he had that huge argument with the director at the last shoot. Remember, he's probably still butthurt. Yeah, our director is something else. He won't budge an inch, even when it means butting heads with the producer. I heard a lot of the crew can't deal with him either. Maybe it'll be a strike. Well, whatever the reason, if we try to shoot on location without the producer, the director's going to be really boil over. Maybe we can find someone who can stand in for him. Oh, sure, someone who can stay calm and cool while talking all that crap our director dishes out. We need a guy with an aura of toughness. A guy who can commit... Command respect. Just by being in the room. I guess guys like that aren't exactly a dime a dozen, huh? Yeah, you're right. Not like any guy can do all of that. It's just gonna waltz down the street at us, huh? That's our man. The poster child of a producer just walked onto the scene and into our lives. Oh god. Wait, please, wait, our savior, I mean, you sir, you with the cool aura and magnificent poise. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I meant you. May I have a minute? We're a production crew for a TV show. Would a would a television crew want from me? Well, we're going to be shooting a sort of segment at a restaurant here in town for a gourmet food program. But we're down a man and we're desperate. Will you help us? What? How could someone who doesn't know the first thing about show business be useful to you? Yuck. No, no, no. With an aura that magnificent, you don't have to do anything but stand there and look authoritative. Well, I, I can't see. Your aura is so bright, it's dazzling. This reeks of bullshit. No, honestly. We're not trying to pull your leg. We're deadly sincere about this. We'll do all the heavy lifting. Well, actually, we may ask you to move things and help with some of the simpler tasks, but... Helping out on a TV show, huh? I guess that's not something everyone gets excited... gets to experience. Please, it has to be you. No one else can do this. They aren't kidding about being desperate. Should I help? Fine, I'll help out. It's not going to take too long. <laughs> That's great. Thank you very much. Oh, my name is Mori. I'm the director's assistant. And this is Kawaguchi, our cameraman. Hi, I'm Kawaguchi. Delighted to meet you. Uh, I'm Kiryu. Good to meet you. So what am I supposed to do? Well, the show's producer is supposed to be here, but something came up at the last minute. He can't make it. So we need you to stand in for him, Kiryu-san. Wait, what? I don't know what a producer does, but isn't that role pretty important? <laughs> <laughs> no way. You might think that, but all a producer really does is act all high and mighty. It's a total f fluff job. Is that it? I have no idea what I'm doing, though. People will know I'm faking it, won't they? Not to worry. Once we get you into some clothes with a more executive style, you'll totally pass for a producer. Your producers have a look? They sure, sure they do. Now let's get you looking like a big shot. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oi. Guys, do producers seriously dress like this? <laughs> Absolutely. You're the picture perfect. You're a picture perfect producer. Is that right, Kawaguchi san? Hey. Uh, okay. What am I supposed to do? Well, our director is on the way. And all we need you to do is deal do is deal with him and keep up with his demands he can't be a he can't be a uh, kind of a diva 
And he says some weird stuff, but just try not to set him off and you'll be fine. Hmm, I'm having second thoughts here, but I'll see what I can do. You should be here any minute now. Oh, the director's here. Here he comes. Kitty is sad, yes. You're up. Try to act natural. Uh, act natural, got it. Mm. <laughs> Ciao, lovelies. Good morning. Morichan, guten Morgen, baby. Uh, gluten Morgan to you too. Don't ever change, Morichan. I'm counting on you today. Bling, bling, chaching, baby. Yeah. <laughs> What in blazes? Where's our intrepid producer? Where is my leader, Ida, Ida Chan? So sorry, Ida Chan called in sick this morning. Kitty Sound will be standing in for him today. Did you? Never heard of him. He the real deal, baby. Yes, of course. Kitty Sound does a lot of work on location overseas. This is his first domestic shoot in a while. That's probably why you don't recognize him. Very well then, c'est la vie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who you are, when you're on location with me, everyone has to pull their way. Capiche? Uh. You said this is our director, Papillon Katosan. Uh. I'm kidding you. Good to meet you. Mm, he's stiff as a stiff. You dragged this guy out of the river, boys? I guess what they say is true. People in the television business do seem to be pretty shallow. This guy's irritating, but I better play along so he doesn't get suspicious. Is there a problem, Kiryu? If you can't return a simple greeting, your history in this biz, lad. Figures a proper greeting is important in every walk of life. What should I do? Get goofy. As goofy as this guy. When in Rome, I guess I have to do this right. Hey, hey uh, Papi Chan. Let's get this shoot rolling so we can wrap up before my next meeting. Chop, chop, yeah? <laughs> I love it. Didn't expect that from you, Kiryu-chan. But I dig it. Totally gonna be bada bing bada big. I guess that went well. Ugh. The cringe is maximum. Oi. So anyway, there's this babbling bit of window dressing. She's on deck for our dining report. Window dressing? Is that TV jargon? Yes, about that. Our reporter Nagasawa-san is running a little late. Yeah. Then why the fuck are we here? It was your job to lock down the talent and did that, didn't you? Sorry, I forgot her to get her uh, schedule in time. She's on her way right now. You would competent imbecile. If we go over on time, we'll be screwing over the restaurant. You're a nice guy, Murray, but this shit doesn't cut the mustard. I'm sorry, sorry. Mr. Director, what a change from that cheesy goofball a few seconds ago. Guy's got one short fuse. Oh, uh, here she comes. Sorry, I'm sorry I'm late. No problem, oh baby doll. We were patient as pie. Ooh la la, don't you look ravishing today. Oh, Kato-san, don't be silly. Okay, gang, let's get this party started. Se vous plaît. Se vous plaît. You won't see vous plaît. Fantastico. To your marks, everyone. Let's roll it. Maldu, what the hell is this? Where's the erasable? Oh, sorry, we'll get it. Very right, cutie, saying, can you grab the erasable from the table and bring it over? Erasable, I can check on what's on the table. Let's start. Sure, hold on. I've been in studios before, so an erasable is any prop that can be consumed or re or over time taken away. So it's gonna be the food. It's gotta be the food. So we will take the food. The erasable is this. Oi. Hey, I brought the erasable. Thanks, Kitty, you son. Set it on the table if you would. Got it. It's gotta be the food. It's gotta be the food. It's gotta be the food. Okay. Well, that looks tasty, doesn't it? I want you to save for it now. 
Let it linger on your luscious lips. This shot will be my tour de force. Thanks, and sorry for making you bring it over, Kiryu-san. Yeah, don't worry about it. Boy, Kiryu-san, I'm so glad that you figured out erasable is what our crew calls consumable props, like food. Yeah, I figure that food is erased when it's eaten. Brilliant. This shoot's going smoothly thanks to you. Duh. I managed to be useful somehow. Wow, that looks delicious. There's so much, but it looks so tasty I could eat it all in one sitting. Good, the shoot's going along smoothly. Bad bikini chad. But we still have we have to still life that erasable later. So would you be a dull and grosser it for me? Uh, grosser the erasable. What could that mean? Um Grosser would be to present. So you want to present the item to the camera. So tilt the food at an angle. Grosser it, huh? I got this. Huh, that's a great looking grosser job if I say so myself. Yeah, I grossered it. Brilliant, thank you, Kitty Chan. Let's take a look. <laughs> Magnifique. The erasable is angled like a grocer's display. When you grocer a prop, it means to tilt it at an angle, like how a grocer displays produce on the shelf. It's easier to film still life that way. But you knew that, of course. Oh, uh, yeah. Managed to get it right. Yeah, see, it's okay. It's a little different than what I remember it being, but okay. The idea is it's tilted at an angle, so you can do a straight-on shot. And I always affiliated Grocer with presenting. Thank you for a wonderful meal. It was delicious. The shoot's almost done. Sorry, Kiryu-san. Can I get you to jeer these props? It's about time to strike the set. What is jeer these props? Strike, striking a set means to tear down, so... That means to remove the dishes or punch the or else remove the dishes. As much as punching the dishes would be fucking hilarious. I got this. Yeah, that's easy. That's super easy. Thank you, Kiyu son. I'm sure glad you knew that jeering meant nah, it wasn't the jeering, it was the striking the set. He's putting the props away while you strike the set. It was obvious. This way we can clear out as soon as the filming's done. That's smart thinking, Kiryu-san. You're looking ahead of whatever it needs doing. All hail the world's best producer. Yeah, right. No, seriously, you're really helping us out. Looks like I got that right. Yeah, yeah, yes it does. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. That's a wrap. Let's blow this popsicle stand. <laughs> the shoot's over, I guess. Finally. <laughs> Cutie sign, you saved us. You know showbiz lingo like a pro. Yeah, no problem. I had fun with it. That was something else. It's rare to see a producer who can take charge on location like you. Please accept our thanks. Look at the magnetic necklace. Sweet. You have all that makes a great producer, Kitty son. We would love to have you back anytime. What's going on here? Producer Aida? Did this shoot go down okay without a real crew? The producer. What the devil? Why would you bother showing up? You need it on a teleprompter. We're here to beat some manners into you. This is for working us like slaves late and then into the night. Who the hell do you think you are? We got into broadcasting because we love television, but thanks to you, we don't have time to go home and watch TV. There's no way, that's no way to live. What can I say? It takes blood, sweat, and tears to make a TV show. Fortified, gentlemen? Who big talk is always director. Who made you so important that you can treat a producer like this? I've had it with you. That's why we boycotted the shoot today. We're on strike. Boycotted? More like you let your personal drama get in the way of work. You call yourselves professionals? Yeah, yap all you want. This is the last time we'll ever see you, so let's end this shit show on a happy note for us. 
Shit. Oh my gosh, what do we do? I got huh? this. Huh? Cuties? Hey, hold it. Oh, who the hell are you? The name's Cutie you. I'm the producer here. I can't have people harassing my crew. Cutie Chennai. Wait, you're my replacement? You just doubled my fun. I'll show you how irreplaceable I truly am. Come on, boys. We'll deal with this faker first. <laughs> Dude totally pulled out a freaking piece of wood. He didn't need his face. Did I dodge right into the line of attack? And that's all she wrote. Blow that guy off a bodybuilding show. Forget this. Kitty, son. Are you alright? Uh, uh, yeah, thanks a million, Kitty, you chat. It's the least an amateur like me can do. So you were faking it after all, Kitty, you chat. You knew? <laughs> I'm no fool. I knew something was off the moment we met. You were a fish out of water from hello. <laughs> Couldn't fool a pro after all. But if you knew, why didn't you get rid of me right away? Because, Kitty chan you did the best you could with such passion, despite not knowing a damn thing. TV is not a gentle mistress. A single minute or even seconds of footage can take dozens to hundreds of hours of hard work. The struggle is, as we say, real. The challenge demands an incredible level of precision, experience, and skill. But there's something even more important than those, and that, mon ami, is passion. Passion. I believe TV gives viewers hopes and dreams. There are people out there who can be inspired by TV or change their jobs or even their way of life. I think TV is a medium that has the power to change people's lives for the better. You might be right about that. Most deaf. That's why we make programs of passion, no matter how hellish the process may feel. As creators, we are the dream weavers. It's our duty to pass those dreams on to others. You're quite a director, you know that? Heh, <laughs> pish posh. I'm just an overbearing loser who can't even hang on to a solid crew. I want to bring the same passion I have to my work out to them, but I can never seem to get through to them. Yeah. Director Kato, what you just said, that moved me to my core. We have a lot of growing up to do. I want to do more. I want to make better programs. I want to create shows that bring people joy and inspiration. I want to channel our passion into the art of film. Please, we want you to keep on us like you do. You guys... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you got through to them, don't you think? They get your old-fashioned sense of passion. Kiryu Chan, thanks. Honestly, you truly are a great producer. So you won't stop giving up hopes and dreams, right? Oh, chanteur, mon frère. We'll show you dreams you've yet to even see in your mind's eye. Yay. Okay, boys, production meeting. Let's drill down a plan for some better shows from the top. Okay. What well, we just wrapped? Have mercy. Ah ha ha ha. Oh boy. What the heck does from the top mean? <laughs> we never get a break. Ever. Okay. Um. How are we doing? We need to eat. Among other things. A mushroom hunting guy's back. We can run over and deal with that. Oh no. Not again. This is the plane. This is plain old shiitake mushroom. You got a death wish pump? No, of course not. That's Katijima the Shroomer. 
Hurry up and hand over the shrooms. We want to get this train rolling. You screw us over, we'll have to teach you a lesson. No, no, no. Like I said before, I only sell regular mushrooms. Uh. What? You expect us to believe that you're here in the middle of Kamurocho selling nothing but a table of mushrooms? Uh, looks like he's got himself in a mess here. Not that I'm surprised. Alright, alright. Hey, what are you selling, huh? What's your beef? This guy really is a regular mushroom seller. If you want the other kind of mushrooms, better try elsewhere. Who asked for your opinion, huh? You've got some nerve budding in like that. You're gonna regret this respected the boss. We just want to trip out on shrooms. You gotta be real sorry to get in our way. That's uh, if you want it, if it's a trip you want, go to one-way ticket to Pound Town with your name on it. Cocky fucker, you're going down. Okay, to be fair, that's kind of what I would say. <laughs> so let's take him on that trip to Pound Town, shall we? First class. And he's down on the ground. Uh, this guy's a monster. Let's regroup, boss. You'll get what's coming to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for helping me out again, kitty. Son. That was pretty dicey. Yeah, I guess people still haven't gotten the message. I just... I'm just selling regular mushrooms. Couldn't have picked the worst place to sell them. Well, you have a point, but I don't think it's the only problem. You don't? Know, pretty much every day someone comes here with the wrong idea, so there's got to be some other reason. Reason he gets mistaken for an illicit shroom dealer. Um... Hmm... I don't know. That's a tricky one. I guess it's the way he talks. Maybe the way you talk is the problem. The way I talk? Yeah, that's it. You sound shady as hell. Just the type who'd be selling dangerous mushrooms, huh? You mumble a lot, and the way your sentences trail off doesn't help either. You have to be more cheerful in the service industry, but this is just how I talk. Well, you need to you need to practice. Try being more cheerful when you speak. I've got good mushrooms. I've got good mushrooms. Like that, not even close. Uh, you need to put more effort into it. Project your voice. A smile is important, too. Okay, okay. I just wants to sell honest mushrooms. The finest mushrooms. Fresh today. My mushrooms are truly superb. Much better. You still have a ways to go, but you're on the right track. The smile looks more natural, and it's a big improvement on your first attempt. You really think so? I can't tell the difference. Uh, I do. But few people will mistake you for shady mushroom dealer now. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you, kitty, you said. You might have changed your laugh, too. I think we just buy some more from him. Thanks for stopping by. Because my service skills are really improving. Ha, come again. Remember the magnificent uh, mushroom Katajima. Okay. We'll just buy the cheap ones. Alright. So he's going to leave. We're going to sell off the mold mushrooms. We need inventory space. Also sell off that watch. So. 
And this might work out in our favor. Nice. Look at that. There we go. Thirty million. Let's buy our pole. Possibly some bait. Wait, we gotta get a different shop. That's one way to burn through 30 mil. But at least we have it. That's that's what's important here. Oh, and look at there. Oh, I saw something shining there. These these are just maitake mushrooms. What are you trying to pull? I don't sell this at mushrooms here. It says Kojima. That's Katajima, the shroomer. Say what? You gotta be kidding. Hand over the good mushrooms quick. If you want to stay in one piece, you better give us the real stuff before we get annoyed. Like I said, I only sell regular mushrooms. Huh? You think you're gonna believe he's in a shop in the middle of Kurumarucha selling plain old mushrooms? Yeah. Looks like he's gonna get dragged in this mess again. Kid, you said, "Who the fuck are you?" This guy's just regular mushroom seller. If you're looking for the other kind of mushroom, try somewhere else. What are you gonna talk into us like that? Get out! Uh, gotta get out of the way, man. You get out of the way. You're obstructing his business. That does it. Let's smash this asshole. And thus, another fight ensues. And it's good. And he didn't need that face. Fucker stabbed me. Go. all she wrote <clears throat> this kid gets so fucking tough let's get the hell out of here yeah you better run you sons of bitches you're gonna get it yeah 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 and he said thanks for saving me again you're in a bit of a bind I get the feeling there's still too many people who don't realize I'm just a regular mushroom seller yeah, you've got a lot friendlier, but the spot is a terrible place to sell mushrooms. Oh. Well, that may be true, but I'm sure there's more than more room for improvement. Right. Room for improvement. I don't want to blame it all on the location. If there are still things I could try, I'm going to stick with it. 
Let's see. What else can Katajima do to stop people from thinking he sells hallucinogenic mushrooms? Uh, a theme song. Why not? How about you come up with a theme song? Theme song? Google that makes your product more memorable. You hear them on TV and radio. Well, sure, those catchy tunes get stuck in my head all the time, but how will I put the song out here? I don't have the money for advertising. Just sing it here all day long. What? I can't do that. You said you'd be willing to try anything, right? At least see how it goes. Uh, but I don't have a song to sing. You need something light and catchy to get rid of your shady image. How about this? Uh, whisper, whisper, whisper. Okay, now give it a try. Um, here it goes. Miraculous mushrooms, marvelous mushrooms. Inoki shiyataki portini for magnificent mushrooms. Your man is Kitajima. Not bad at all. The lyrics work well, if I do say so myself. You think? Uh. Yeah. Nobody would mistake you for a hallucinogenic mushroom dealer singing that song. Now that you mention it, I think you're right. Yeah, I'll give the singing a try. Thanks, Kiryu-san. Hey, good luck. Ooh, yeah, it's better than nothing. Alright, we need to buy some shrooms. Okay, let's see. Alright. So, again, we gotta keep doing this. Build up the friendship level. Same the mushrooms don't stack. Uh. Alright. Yeah, never a break. Actually, I might go by the ramen shop for healing, too. Oh. Perfect timing. Chance for even some more cash. Let's do it.
It's just poor crap. Now from here, let's make our way back. Subjecting ourselves to another stop in church. Why did you join the police anyway, huh? That was out of the blue. You want to know why I became a police officer? Well, I just always see you here questioning people. Made me wonder if stop and searches are the whole reason you signed up to the forest. I, uh, um, what, is it a touchy subject? Actually, I'm ashamed to admit it, but stop and searches are the only thing I'm good for. I can't do anything else, huh? What's it mean? When I joined the force, they partnered me with a senior officer. He was great at what he did, and he really popular with the other officers. He had my back right from the beginning. Pretty much the ideal cop. Just like the ones you see on TV, I was in awe. Then one day, we stepped into a break up, we stepped in to break up a fight between some drunks. When I pulled them apart, one of them attacked me from behind. The partner moved in to protect me, but he got stabbed instead. It must have hit an artery. Blood was gushing out, and he didn't make it. He had my back until the end, too. Ever since, I've been scared to death of real police work, no matter the task. I've sitting up a nervous wreck. Now the others in the department see me as dead weight. I try to stay out of their way when I can, so I spend my days out here doing stop and searches. Questioning people and searching their belongings is only the only thing I have. It's all I can do. <laughs> Sorry to ramble on like this. Thank you for your help. Mm. He's clearly down in the dumps. I guess I opened up an old wound. So we got that going. Almost ready for the next step, one would say. Then we will head back over to our little mushroom buddy, because guess what? He's up to no good. Or rather, others are up to no good. What is this? It's Buna Shimiji. Buna what? This is not mu the mushrooms we want. Sorry, you may have gotten the wrong idea, but we only sell regular mushrooms here. Give me shrooms. Uh, that's Katajima the Shroomer. A long way because there you go, quality shrooms. What gives? Well, our mushrooms are of the finest quality, but they're just mushrooms with no special properties. It's no use. He doesn't understand. What am I going to do? Oh, I know. Miraculous mushrooms, miraculous mushrooms, Inokishiati, porcini, Magnus of mushrooms, your man is Katijima. You're dead. God. Looks like I'm going to get dragged into this mess again. Oi. Oh, kill you, son. You. How did we get this guy to cough up the good stuff? He's just a regular mushroom seller. If you want other kinds of mushrooms, try to sell somewhere else. It's too late for talk. We can't back down now. Too bad, you're obstructing his business, so I'm going to have to ask you to leave before I remove you myself. <laughs> You'll regret this. Kill him. I say I'll regret this, but, uh, I'm pretty good at beating people. Hope oh, I see a gun. Agent Smith is down. As I just get cattle prodded. Okay, we're gonna have to go with the dodge tactic here. Well, that's the wrong one too, but that might work in my favor. Or not. I can't move fast enough. Yeah, no, we need our faster, more skilled. Oh. And he didn't need that face. Come on. 
And it's good. Wiped out. Unbelievable. Thanks for helping me again, Kitty Yusad. Looks like they thought you were selling hallucinogenic mushrooms again, huh? Yeah. I guess the theme song didn't really help. What's it going to take? I just want people to know I have the tastiest mushrooms what? in Japan. Wait, the tastiest mushrooms in Japan? Yeah, let me try one. Mm, oh, sure. Yeah. You are not delicious. <laughs> What is this mushroom? Uh, just one of my mushrooms, Katajima's mushrooms. Tastes fantastic. How did you grow them? Thank you. I have my own special technique. The mushroom reminded me of the old days in Naples. I used to be a chef there many, many years ago. You were a chef? I was well known in Naples back then. I worked every day trying to make the best pasta in all of Europe. I perfected the ideal al dente pasta. The problem was the sauce. I could never find mushrooms worthy of my pasta. I visited mushroom sellers every day, searching for a mushroom to match my pasta. None were good enough. I never found the right mushroom. My restaurant was losing money, and my girl left me. I grew to hate pasta. I gave up and took over the family business, the Mafia. I see. <laughs> but I finally found it, the ideal mushroom to go with my pasta. I should be able to make the finest pasta in Europe now. Katajima, would you come back to Italy with me? I will take Europe by storm with the best mushroom pizza ever, pasta ever. What? This is also sudden, but if I were to, if I went to Europe with you, I bet I could get lots of people to try my mushrooms. Can you sign I? I really don't know what to think, but don't worry about me. You need to listen to what your heart tells you. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll go with you. It means I can show more people how my, good my mushrooms are. Grazie. <laughs> Thank you, Katijima. Still, I'm a little worried. I think my mushrooms are the best in Japan, but I don't know if people will like them overseas. <laughs> Show some confidence. Remember what you will always say, huh? Oh, yeah. We're magnificent mushrooms, Katajimas. You are mad. And there it is. The mushroom seller has found happiness. Maybe my dreams will also come true. Eh, not quite. Ah... <sighs> With that said, guys, this is a great place for us to stop right now. So I want to thank you for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv. So check their studios for more live gaming action. Because when we come back, at least we don't have any more mushroom hunting to do. Right? So with that said, thanks for stopping by, guys. And we'll see you guys next time.